Alright, fun story. The game crashed when it went to the next cutscene, so I went back and refought this boss. Um, things actually went a lot better this time, and I actually remembered to loot his gear this time, so let's get out of here. Pick up where we left off here. I guess I wish to board the Ebon Hawk. Please don't crash let's this time. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. Now, fingers crossed. Okay, didn't crash. For some reason, when I loaded the cutscene last time, it crashed, so... I'll just go ahead and put this last little bit in again. Taurus is about to have some bad times happen to it here. Taurus is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Well, that's too bad for Taurus. Yep, they're definitely bombarding the hell out of the planet. Well, that's a damn shame. I kind of like the Ebon Hawk. I think it's actually cooler than the Millennium Falcon in terms of just how it looks. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Fighters, I hear ya. I don't see ya. Oh. Alright. Got another kill. How many more are left, I wonder? All right, making progress. Yay. All right, they're dead, cool. And we're free. Amazing. Time to GTFO. Whoever's piloting the ship, probably Karth, because he's a Republic pilot. Don't exactly remember. I think we're just going to Dantooine now. Pretty sure we're going to Dantooine. And it's going to be switching to another cutscene directly, which seems to be part of the the issue. Oh, it's okay. Dantooine. Gonna, there we go. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here, for now at least. Safe. You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I agree with Bastila. We should be safe here. We can get supplies here and recuperate. 
The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Alrighty, I guess we don't get to do the interior stuff on the Ebon Hawk quite yet. Maybe we do once we land. I don't. I think it's when we land we do. Good old Star Wars music going there. That's always one of my favorite songs from Star Wars. That binary sunset song. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Uh, okay. Unable to switch things, whatever. Alright, I'm actually going to take a moment here to make sure that everything's okay with the recording because uh, it crashed like twice during those cutscenes and I'm going to have to edit things together. So I'm going to take a second just to reload and make sure everything's good. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a mess uh, stringing that stuff together, but I got it all figured out so we can move on now. Um, basically, I should probably explain the way that well, I think this guy's going to talk to me or I can talk to him. I think he gives me... Does he give me a side quest? Skip ahead here because I don't really need to read. I mean, I need to read it. I don't need to hear him talk. Uh, she didn't save me. We worked together to escape Taurus. Yeah, I guess he doesn't right now. I think he does later. But uh, I should probably explain when... Um, I don't know if it's because I have this game running at a higher resolution than it was meant to or whatever, but when the game switches back and forth between the uh, pre-rendered cutscenes and the in-game, in-engine stuff, um, it causes fraps to crash sometimes, which is actually the problem that I've been having here. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Wow, settle down. Are you a Jedi? I believe you are mistaken. I am not a Padawan. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. So I hear. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Well, calm down, lady. I am telling you the truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. That's more like it, just yelling at random people who show up. The hell's your problem, lady? Some people, even Jedi, are jerks, it turns out. Hey, Karth. Oh, I'm just going in there. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. I am. Um, what do you want from me? Let's let's do that. Uh, so you've drawn me into your little trap, Basil. What now? Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Ah, oh, okay. Well, what do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Sweet. Nothing would give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. 
We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We Are you both kidding me? We know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion. That guy seems really short. Wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? 